everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel and another video in my Christmas gift guide series. This is the last video in my gift guide series, which is hard to believe, but if you miss any of the other videos, I had one that went up about what we gave our 14 year old for her Christmas tree gifts, one that was for our 14 year old stocking stuffers, and then yesterday's video was what we got our eight year old for her Christmas tree gifts, and today I'm sharing what we're giving our eight year old for her stocking stuffers. Now, each girl got seven Christmas tree gifts this year and 14 stocking stuffers. So that is what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. If you wanna see what we're putting in her stocking, then stay tuned. So basically how we base whether something's gonna be a Christmas tree gift or a stocking stuffer is the price. So pretty much for the most part, if it's $10 or less, we put it in the stocking. And if it's more than $10, it goes under the tree. Now we're not big, huge, crazy, expensive gift givers. I talked about that in Monday's video about how we just don't go nuts with Christmas anymore. So we really, really work on keeping it down to a minimum. Now 14 may be a lot for some of you guys for stocking stuffers, but we also don't give them terribly many tree gifts. So I feel like it kind of balances itself out. So no year is ever the same. I don't ever feel the need to say, well, I got them six presents this year for their Christmas tree. So now I need to get them eight next year and then 10 the year after that. Like, I don't feel the need to do that. But I shared all that in that video on Monday, so I won't get into that too much. But basically, that's how it works. $10 or less, it goes in the stocking. More than $10, it goes under the tree. So the first thing I got, and I shared this with you guys in a Day in the Life video a while back, but I actually found this at Marshall's. It is a play foam set. She, my youngest daughter really loves like tactile things. She loves squishy. She loves kinetic sand. She loves um, water beads and things like that, putty which I shared in my gift guide preview video, the putty scents from Mindwear that they are both obsessed with. Um, but she's never had any of this play foam stuff. I thought this was a really fun way to see if she's actually interested in this stuff because it is kind of just a variety pack of all these different sparkly colors. Um, so there are eight colors in this kit. It says no mess, so we will find out. But I just thought that was really fun. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna get this in a stocking, I'm not. Um, we, the girls have oversized stockings, but a lot of times what ends up happening, and I do wrap stocking stuffers, but a lot of times what ends up happening is we will have things that have to sit around on the floor underneath the stockings just because they don't fit in their stockings. But I also have these big stocking sacks, which are like big felt bags that are drawstring. So I think this year we're going to try those and we're not going to hang them up anywhere. Um, I'll probably just sit them kind of behind the tree out of the way a little bit. Um, but I think that's going to be the best option because it's just stupid to have stockings when nothing fits in the stocking. So we're going to try this, the stocking sacks this year or the gift sacks. Um, I got them at Michael's a few years ago, um, just to see if that works better. So that is the first thing that's going to go in her stocking. So when I say stocking, I just mean the bag is what I'm trying to say. So like I said, she is obsessed with squishies and all those fun little tactile things. So all of these squishies you would have seen in my Christmas gift guide preview video I did a few weeks ago. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail again. But basically a squishy is a memory foam slow rise toy. A lot of times they're animals or food and they're usually scented. These all came from banggood.com. It's a really inexpensive website to get things from, especially squishies. And they have a lot of unique ones and they had a huge selection of squishies. I really had a hard time narrowing it down, but I got her this little deer, which is my favorite because it's so soft and so slow rising. So I got her that one. Also this little cat in a teacup, which is really cute. And then she's always wanted a yummy bear, which is like a special squishy brand. And so that is what this little guy is. He's a yummy bear. So I got those for her stocking. I also found these, believe it or not, at the Dollar Tree and she wanted them and I was like, no, you don't need any more Tsum Tsums. But you guys know these are Disney Tsum Tsums, like with the tag, Disney Tsum Tsums. And they're usually around four or five, six dollars if you get them at Disney or the Disney store. I feel like they're kind of on the way out, which is kind of sad because my girls love them. And my youngest daughter still loves them and she's got a ton of the other ones and I believe she's got Eeyore and Tigger. So she wanted these two to kind of complete her series. So for a dollar a piece, I actually found Disney Tsum Tsums at the Dollar Tree. So those are gonna go in her stocking. Oh, this is what I was gonna show you. And I talked about this, you would have seen it yesterday when I talked about her giant squishy donut that is gonna be a tree gift. Isn't he cute? He's a tree gift. Um, 
A squishy about this size, so the squishy in here is about this big around. This little thing is $10 at Walmart. It is a squishy mushy, which again is a squishy, just a basically a scented memory foam kind of slow rise character. These are mystery ones, so you don't know which one you're getting, which even, I mean, they love these, but it's kind of crazy because for $10, you don't know what you're getting. It could be the ugliest thing in the world, but you don't know. But it's cute and they have, you know, the little ice cream cones, so she really likes these as well. I picked that up and also Squishy Mushies have the Besties, which are little itty bitty ones that are about this big, little tiny Squishy. So I got her one of those to go in her stocking and that's the last Squishy, I promise. It's just, that's what the girls are obsessed with this year and I can't say that I blame them because I think they're super cute. But like I said, they both also really love the Mindwear Putty Scents. I've gotten them before from Mindwear.com to give the girls for our school reward, um, for our school reward store. I also shared some of the new scents that Mindwear just came out with uh, for fall and winter. I shared those in my Christmas gift guide preview video. So if you wanna see what other scents they came out with, check out that video. But this one is a Putty Scents mashup. So basically there are two putties in here, one that smells like peanut butter and one that smells like jelly. So when you squish them together, it gives you the peanut butter and jelly scent. And it's a big ball of putty. So it's just like silly putty, but more fun because it's scented and pretty colors and things like that. The girls are obsessed with these. They love these. They're a really great value and they're great stocking stuffers, great gifts. So, and this one's perfect for my youngest daughter because she's obsessed with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like she would have them three meals a day if you let her. So this was the perfect scent to give her in her stocking. Also, speaking of mindwear, they came out with these really neat little things called Trinkalinks. And basically it's paint your own jewelry, which is perfect for my youngest daughter because she's obsessed with jewelry and she loves creative things and painting and drawing and all that stuff. So they give you everything you need to create all of these little rings that you can also make into necklaces, but they are detachable and interchangeable. So you can put like, the pig head with the cow body and the mouse head with the pig bottom, like just all funny different little combinations. I thought those would be really fun for her and something she can do either by herself or with her friends. So I got her this kit, which has the pig, the mouse, and the cow. And also this set which, that has the bunny, the cat, and the dog. So all of these are interchangeable, mix and match, and just something really fun for her to do and be creative. So those also came from mindwear.com. Sticking with the creative theme, which you guys know that I love to do, um, I found this thing at Aldi's, not Aldi's, not A-L-D-I-S, but Aldi's, O-L-L-I-E apostrophe S. It is a discount store, it's kind of like Marshall's, but way bigger. Um, they have a lot of really great selection. I go there a lot for books. And I found this like scratch off art kit, this little snow leopard here. And she loves this stuff, like the black that you have to scratch off and reveal pictures. She loves things like that. We've gotten quite a few kits from the Dollar Tree and some from Melissa and Doug and some from Scholastic. So she loves things like that. And this comes with a little tool that you need to scratch it off and make the snow leopard picture. And I just thought that would be something really fun that she would enjoy doing. And I only paid $2.99 for it. So I thought that was a really great deal. Also with kind of the coloring and being creative theme, this is something new from Crayola called Scribble Scrubby. Basically it's these little animal figurines that you can color with the markers and then wash it off and do it again. So it kind of reminds me of the doodle bear that came out like, you remember like 10 years ago where you could draw on it with marker and then it washed off. Kind of the same concept. These are like felt, so they're really soft. And I picked this one up because even though it says that I believe it's supposed to be, it may supposed to be a guinea pig or a hamster. I'm not really sure who it's supposed to be, but it looks like Bean, it reminds me of our guinea pig. So I picked this set up for her. They had a really big set that was $20 and I was like, mm, I don't know if she's gonna want it $20 worth or if she'd even play with it that much. So I got this little set instead but it's got the cute little bunny and the cute little guinea pig, hamster, or whatever it's supposed to be. It doesn't have a tail. So to me, that says guinea pig. So I thought she would really enjoy that and it'd be something fun that she can draw on and theoretically wash off and draw on again. So I got that. And the last thing that I got for her stocking originally, I had gotten for my oldest daughter who is 14. She is an artist, she draws 24 seven. And I thought that she would like to have a place to keep all of her art supplies. Well, as time has gone on, my oldest daughter has really branched out and she's got a lot more art supplies than she had when I bought this. And really now this is more suited to something that my youngest daughter would like because she's also really got it, gotten into drawing because I guess my oldest daughter is, so she kind of is now. 
So they both always carry their art pads around at the restaurants, anywhere we go, basically they have their notepad, like their art pads with them. But my youngest daughter has been keeping her markers and pencils and stuff in like random bags that she finds laying around the house. So I thought she would really like this probably more than my oldest daughter would. So basically it is a little carrying case. It's got the handle here and it's got all of these little compartments that she can put her erasers and her pencils and her markers. And these things actually come out like this one's attached, but this one and this one actually come out. So she can take these out if she doesn't want them and just use the storage underneath, or she can put her colored pencils in the little slots here and carry those around with her. So I just thought it was gonna be something really fun that she could actually have now and make her feel like a real artist and have all of her little supplies together. So I picked that up from Amazon. I'll have it linked for you guys. And that is everything that we are putting in our eight-year-old stocking for this Christmas. Hopefully you guys got some great gift ideas from this video. Make sure that you check out the other videos that went up this week of my eight-year-old's Christmas tree gifts and my 14-year-old stocking stuffers and her Christmas tree gifts. I think between all of those four videos, you should get some great gift ideas for the kids in your life, hopefully. So if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, and I'm gonna say it again, and you're gonna hate me forever, you're gonna hate me, but you won't hate me, you'll love me. If you have not yet signed up for an Ebates.com account, Ebates is free, they are not sponsoring this video. I just feel the need to tell you this, especially right now when we're talking about gifts and spending money on people. It gets really expensive, and Ebates.com is a free website that you earn cash back into your Ebates account they will basically give you that money back every quarter in the form of a check or a PayPal deposit. So basically what you do, instead of going to Kohl's.com to shop for, shop for something, you would go to Ebates.com first and you would click on the Kohl's tab and then it, Ebates will take you to Kohl's.com. And basically Ebates will offer you a percentage of cash back for all these different hundreds of stores they have on their website. So let's say Kohl's was offering 10% cash back when you shop through Ebates. So if you go to Ebates.com first, type in Kohl's, click on it and go to Kohl's that way. Ebates will give you 10% or 6%, whatever the percentage is at that time, of your purchase back into your Ebates account. So if you spent $100 on Kohl's.com and you go through Ebates first, you'll get $10 in your Ebates account if Kohl's is 10% cash back. It fluctuates. They'll have like a certain percentage and then sometimes they have bonus percentage, so like they'll double it. So it could be a lot. I think one time it was even 12% cash back on Ebates uh, to shop for Kohl's. It's a great way to save money and you can still use coupon codes with your purchase even when you go through ebates.com. If you have a 30% coupon code for Kohl's that you wanna use, but you also wanna go through Ebates, you can do both. You go through Ebates first, it'll take you to Kohl's and you use your 30% coupon, so you still save your money there, but then you'll also get your percentage back into your Ebates account. So make sure if you do not have an Ebates account, you sign up for one. It is free, I've been a member since 2003. And every quarter, I usually get a couple hundred dollars that they mail me just for shopping with Ebates every time I shop online. So don't forget to go through Ebates. Anytime you do online shopping, if you don't have an account, you wanna make sure that you sign up for one, it's free. And if you use my link in the description box below to sign up, you will get $10 cash back into your Ebates account just by signing up through my link and using Ebates.com for the first time. It's really, really simple to use, I promise. And you can even download a little button to put on your browser, that way it will remind you. Anytime you're doing any online shopping, if the store that you're shopping at participates with ebates.com, and it probably does because most of them do, um, it'll flash up at the top that you need to click on that to go through ebates to remind you so that you'll get that cash back. So it really, really is user-friendly. It's actually saved me thousands of dollars over the years just by shopping through Ebate. So make sure you sign up with my link if you guys are new to Ebates. If you already have an account and you already signed up but you've never gone through Ebates, don't wait. Don't forget to use it because it's just another way to save money and make it easier to get gifts and to shop online on a budget. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will link my previous year's gift guide videos in the description box for you guys. I actually have a playlist of all of my gift guide videos um, that I will link for you. If you need even more gift ideas for the kids in your life, definitely check out those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.